Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Mario Craft YouTube, and I'm back with a little bit of a tutorial. So, as you can see in the, in the title, today I will be showing you how to make renders on iOS. Now, I will say from the start, um, you, it's not as good as if you would do it on a computer on C4D or Minimator like I use. But it is still, it, it, it's, if you don't have a computer, it's the best you're going to get. Maybe on iOS, I mean on Android, if you have an Android, there might be a better. You can search a tutorial. I don't know if there are any better ways to do it on Android. But for now, this is the best way to do it. So basically, you want to go in the App Store. I um, will go in my description um, and go in and get the link in the, to the App Store that gives you the app. This app right here called Skin Editor. It's, uh, it's I don't remember, I don't, and it's not free, I don't think. I think it's like a dollar ninety nine or something. But it's uh that that's what you need. So basically, when you have that downloaded, just click into it. And I mean, I might have to turn my orientation manually because it will be uh portrait mode. It will turn your device to portrait mode. So basically, when you are in it, you want to go to uh new skin. And you can choose any of these options. So basically, I have my skin in my photos. So let me get it. Hopefully, I still have it. If not, I think it messed up for some reason when I was trying to do it on the Hunger Games. But we can check. If not, I can use... I already have it in here. Let me find it here somewhere. One second. See, right there it is. Okay. Uh, test... And then you want to click Edit in 3D, and basically this comes up. As you can see, my hat is not on, nor is my mustache. So basically, you can't really get wigs or anything, and you can't get mouths, but you have this. So basically, if you have a hat, or if something's not showing up in your skin, sorry. If you get out of it, just go to my skins and go into it. So if not something is not showing up on your skin, basically what you want to do is you want to click over here, and then just click all of these, or whatever one you need. And basically, then you see my hat and my mustache and my nose came up, and that's better. So, basically what you want to do is basically to move it, you just click this little hand up here. Up here, that little hand. And you can basically move around the arms, uh, anything like that. Uh, the head, like that. Uh, wait, one second, like that, and like that, or something like that. Whatever you want to do. Sorry, I wanted to let you guys know you cannot bend the arms. Thanks. And basically, there isn't any way to save it as a picture, but what you do is you just take a screenshot, and then you, I'll show you that then, and then you just go into, you can also edit the skin then if you wanted to even, and then you just go into photos, and you go down to that screenshot, right there, and you go just edit at the top, and then crop, and then just crop it to where you want. And then you can use Photoshop or any other program to basically make it. Um, a thumbnail, put it, or you could use, let me show you here. You could use the program down here. Where is it? Um, where is that program? Oh, right here. I'm going to turn my screen orientation back. Okay. So you can use the soup, that photo wizard program that I showed you. I don't know if I ever showed you that. But just get this app. I'll also have that in the description. You just go up here. Um, this is basically to make it so it's transparent, the background. So you can put it in thumbnails and stuff. Um, you just go over to mask. Click the background. Sometimes it doesn't work. So if you, you want to go up here the settings and make a little bit less of that. And then if you just click around. Sometimes it gets it full. Sometimes it doesn't. Usually with this, uh, with the skins, it doesn't usually get it the first try. If you do any other photos, usually it fills it up the whole time, the whole try, or the first time you do it. But you just keep doing that, and basically eventually gets it. But, um, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is the best way to make renders on, uh, Pocket Edition, I mean on iOS. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.